Hey, what is going on everybody? Scott Gaming here. Thank you very much for joining us. As you can see, we're back. We're playing some more Football Manager. Uh, bad news. I thought I'd started recording. I did all of the commentary like normal, looked at uh, looked at OBS and realized that I wasn't actually recording anything. Um, so we've played the Norwich game. I'm sorry, everybody. Uh, we've played the Norwich game and we, and we won, um, which is great news. And you probably just saw from the league table there. Um, has catapulted us up the league. Let's go and take a look at the actual game and the goals, and then we'll talk about um, and what it means. But uh, let's watch goals. As you can see, we won 2-1. Um, it was a tight game, as you can see from the stats down there, very even. Um, great little goal here from uh, from Serrano, dancing in between the defenders and lifting it into that far corner. Um, and then we conceded from a corner. Shock horror. Easy header at the back post. It bounces off the post. It's Pinho in the back of the head uh, and goes in. Tuchemeni and Pelisic, Esposito picked up a going strain to Bellingham, burst past the defender and fires it into that far corner. And that is the reason we won that goal from Bellingham. Uh, and it happened very quickly after that after that own goal. Um, that's pretty much all that happened. But more so, there was uh, there was quite a lot of, of results that went for and against us in both in both ways. So let's have a look down here. We've got Huddersfield who are relegated. I don't know if they've been officially relegated, but they are relegated. They must be, right? Um, Crystal Palace, they're going down as well. Simple as that. There's no coming back from where they are. But then we've got this group of teams here. So let's look at all of them. We've got Villa who have a game in hand on 31 points. If they win that game in hand, they're up to 35 points, which is three points away from us. We've got Southampton who then drop into the, the bottom uh, three uh, with 33 games played, the same as us. 31 points. We've got Derby who have a game in hand and they win that. They go up to 35 points. We've got Everton who are on the same po uh, amount of games as us, but three points behind us. We've got Wolves who clearly could win that game and leapfrog us. And then we've got Newcastle. So all of these teams are still within a chance of, of the dropping uh, out of the league. So it's close. The two wins on the bounce is huge as long as we follow it up with a win against... Um, against Huddersfield if we do not win that game we're back in the mire um I think you know it's a, everyone else is beating them we have to beat them simple as that um okay let's just get straight into it so I apologize that I didn't bring you the Norwich game I I genuinely sat here talking to myself for um for the whole game and then and then looked down and I was like oh that's not what I expected. I will have a check on the hard drive just to see if it, um, just to see if it has recorded. But I don't think it did. Somehow, I think I I did something a bit awry with the with the recording. I've got space. I think also starts and stops it when you're when you're in it. So maybe I accidentally pressed that. Who knows? Okay, we're ready to go. We're about to take on Huddersfield. You'll see why I don't show you the bits between uh, matches because most of it is just crap. It's scouting news. And then it's just it's stuff about contracts. It's not particularly exciting. Um, we're going to send our assistant to this one. We're going to hit continue. Um, we are going to um, keep going, I think. Hand over to the assistant manager. This is pretty much all I do every every uh, week between matches. Just click through. And then if there's anything majorly important, I'll look at it. But you know, we've got our scouting network going for us. We'll have a look at the end of the season if there's anyone who that brings out one thing I did do between episodes was go and scout all of the people who got who are getting released by their clubs um, just so we've got some some news on those or as many as I could see um, but that's you know there's not a lot to do in the uh, in the off season I changed the training so we could defend set pieces a little bit better hopefully um, they wanted us to play ticket tacker um, but we've uh, we've gone to to be a little bit more solid that would be nice so woeful form for them fair for us we need a win Let's keep going. Esposito is injured. I'm going to make this change, but we'll keep Esposito on the bench. Uh, everybody else ready to go. Abby, all on you, mate. Abby, who I think is definitely going at the end of the season, if we can find a buy for him. Um, tell the team to do this for the fans. Um, send the assistant to this, and we'll just get started. I'm a little bit worried that we're going to slip up here and be back in the uh, back in the relegation places. Southampton have lost again, which is good news. There's Serrano. Look at Abby. Look at him making that run. Look at him making the run. He didn't make the run. 
Elderon to Pelage. Plessage. Probably Plessage, right? <laughs> Bellingham shot, saved. I think we've had this discussion before. It's definitely Ple Plessage. Oh God, Palmar's got a, a knock. You know what that means. Who permit of coming into the uh, into the game? There's Kenlock bursting into the box. Why is it across Bellingham? Should have scored. What's up, Ken, um, buddy? Potential upper body injury. Let's see how you uh, let's see how you get on for a little while. Bruised ribs. Ouch. Here they come again. They're in so much space over. They've hit the post. We still look so ropey at the back. Okay. Well done, Diaz. We'll keep an eye on Palmar, see if he needs to come off or not. Now he's got a booking as well. 25 minutes gone. Not a lot happening. Oh, well, this is bad news. This is really bad news. Okay, Moran, Moran, you're in. Um, I didn't put him on the bench. Pelmard, what do I do now? Well, now I've got problems. Calderon, you're coming in here. And you are... Uh, what do I do? I should have looked at my bench in a little bit more detail, right? Okay, fine. Two changes made. Okay, five minutes gone and it's still nil-nil, but we've had to make two substitutions. Not a great place to be. There's Pelesic. Pelesic. I can't say his name. Pinho. Bastoni. Back to Pinho. There's Moran. Let's uh, move the... Uh, Mouse out of the way. Serrano is going to pick this up. Serrano beats his man. Abby shot is blocked. Bobbling around, cleared away. And there's a foul anyway from Abby. I think that sums up Abby. Okay, we're going to shout at the boys, tell them that we want more from them. Let's tell them we want more. Off we go. Okay. Throw into Huddersfield. Not what we wanted at the start of this second half. Kenlock is tracking the man, not coming to the ball. There's the ball into the box. It's bobbling around. They've scored. This is not what we wanted, boys. Oh, no. You know when you just think to yourself, we've done enough, we're going to be all right. And then something like this happens, and it happens a lot to us. But you just think, we've we've got this. And it turns out we haven't got this. Not even a little bit have we got this. Um, what do we do? Do we do anything? Oh, come on, boys. They're in again. They've scored it all. They should have scored again. I think this is the I think this is the change, possibly. We've got a terrible attack in front three or front two in Moran and Abbey. Really bad. I guess that would teach me for not checking our bench before we started. I got any change I can make to make things any better? I don't think I have. Well, let's make that change. Not that it's really going to help us a huge amount. I'll probably get injured more now. Um, oh, God. Let's 
Just when you thought we'd done enough. Passage. Bursting into the box. Still going. Holy crap. Great goal. Questions about the defending. Burst into the box, beats one man, gets tackled, but bobbles and he, he reacts first and fires into that near post. Get in. Around a corner, we couldn't, could we? Bastoni over the bar. forward for the last few seconds. Calderon with the free kick. Bastoni at the back post. Oh, come on, boys. Surely it last two minutes. And there we go. Okay. Um, let's have a little look at what that means. Uh, we will tell the boys that was disappointing because they should have done better. Um, we're one point away from that magical 40 mark. Um, Aston Villa, two games in hand now. Southampton and Derby have played the same amount of games and are eight points behind. We should be fine, I think. I think we're good. This is not great news. Okay, I think we're. Uh, I think we're done. Um, next up, we've got Derby. I guess we'll bring that game separately. Um, for this one and then we'll um we'll have a look at what that means i think we're huddersfield have been relegated um finally that's one place done um let's have a little little look at the schedule we've got um derby to play and then three games left wolves tottenham and villa villa being a, a decisive one maybe wolves being quite quite a big one i think they're struggling as well down here um so we'll uh, we'll bring you the derby game and then we'll uh, we'll we'll go from there. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe button, follow us on Twitter at Scotter Gaming. We'll see you again soon. Thank you.